What's up guys, Josh from Strengthside. This is a follow along scapular mobilization and strengthening routine. All you need is your body and an exercise band. So this is an example of something I might do for a warm up, for an upper body training session, or on an off day, all in the pursuit of gaining more connection to the shoulder blade. So right here we start with a straight arm retraction. So you're just going to get uh, pull against that band into retraction, keeping that shoulder blade back and down as much as we can. And you're gonna try to keep your elbow as straight as possible, all the way locked out if you can. All the micro bends that we get in the elbow all kind of represent some stiffness in the bicep and the shoulder. And we just wanna resist that as much as we can um, for this and most of the exercises in this routine. And that's gonna allow you to access your shoulder blade uh, much more efficiently. I'm doing anywhere in the range of 10 to 15 here. And because this is such a small isolated movement, you could even go as high as 20 to 30 reps. Next, we're gonna flip around and do essentially the opposite movement, which is a straight arm protraction with the band. So I'm gonna lock my elbow out once again. Um, I'm going to then let the band kind of pull me back into retraction and then push against the band tension into protraction, moving the shoulder blade to the side of the rib cage, making sure to keep a neutral spine. I keep my hand um, right on my rib cage to make sure that that is not thrusting up or down, just keeping that straight as I protract, retract. Next, we move to the band pull apart. I start with the band right out in front of me about shoulder width. I'm going to retract my shoulder blades and then pull the band towards my chest. So I wanna prioritize getting, leading with those shoulder blades, not making this an arm movement, but making this a back movement. I keep those elbows locked. And the reason I do so is because it makes my connection to my shoulder blades much more efficient than if the elbow bends. Next is the overhead straight arm pull down. One of my favorite exercises because it trains depression of the shoulders, which if you're sitting at a desk long hours of the day, you better bet that your shoulders are probably going to elevate. So start with your hands in the overhead position with the band, and then you're just gonna keep your elbows straight and pull down so your hands reach about shoulder height. Now, once again, we want to drive through our shoulder blades here. So first, try to get your shoulder blades down before you pull. And if you're able to do that, that pull down is going to feel much more efficient and you're gonna have a lot more strength from your back.
So you can get rid of the band and we're gonna hop down on the ground here for a modified dead bug. You're going to get those knees at about 90 degrees and then keeping the lower back flat to the ground and a neutral uh, spine here, you're going to move the hands down to the ground. In so I start with a Y position here. Um, then you'll see me move to more of a overhead position at shoulder width. Really, we're just training the arms to move overhead without arching our rib cage. So this is just kind of patterning a good overhead position. And if you're really stiff in the front of the shoulder or the lats, you'll feel a good stretch here as you lower down. And we move to the floor slide. So start with your elbows directly to the side of your shoulders and you get to bend the elbows. First time we're bending the elbows here. And then you're just gonna slide them across the ground to lock out in an overhead position. So same thing here, we're keeping the lower back flat, we're keeping the rib cage as tucked as possible in the neutral spine. And really, you just want as much contact with the ground through your, your lower back up to your hands as you can as you slide into this overhead position. Next is the kneeling Y raise. So you're gonna sit your hips back towards your heels, hands on the ground. You're gonna pull your shoulder blade back, keeping the elbow straight, raise the arm in a Y position here. Now it's helpful to keep your thumb up to keep the shoulder externally rotated. And what we're trying to train here is the lower and middle traps to engage and to do this motion. Also do this motion in a half kneeling position on a bench and you can also add weight but you'll quickly find out that you do not need much weight uh, to really intensify this exercise usually for beginners just two pounds can be quite challenging Next we have the scapular push-up. So we're gonna start in a nice hollowed out plank position, um, pushing the shoulder blades away. And then we're going to sink down into retraction, keeping the elbows straight and locked out. And then we're going to push back forcefully into protraction, getting those shoulder blades to the sides of our rib cage. Uh, I'm also trying to keep my chin tucked and keep my neck long. I have the tendency here to let my head kind of droop forward, so I'm actively trying to resist that, um, keeping the butt tight and the core on as well. If the full scapular push-up is a bit much for you, you can just hop onto your knees and essentially just do the same motion here 
getting good retraction and protraction of the shoulder blades. Trying not to round or extend the spine too much. Um, trying to just keep a bit of a neutral spine while we move the shoulder blades independently. Becoming proficient in these simple basic exercises has really helped me gain a lot more strength in my shoulders and my shoulder blades. Uh, let me know how it goes for you guys following along. Let me know which exercises you like. Um, like the video if you enjoyed it. If you're not already, subscribe to Strength Side. As always, I'll see you in the next one.